Near-eye displays today do not support focus cues, which are an important part of human depth perception. In fact, current generation displays can cause discomfort and nausea. In this paper, we introduce a new technology to address this issue via point spread function engineering. In a conventional near-eye display, a sharp image is only seen when a user accommodates or focuses at a single distance. Using focus tunable lenses in a custom prototype display, we engineer PSFs that allow users to accommodate to all distances equally well. Applications of the proposed virtual and augmented reality display system range from entertainment, education, collaborative work, simulation, and training to telesurgery and basic vision research. In natural viewing conditions, the eyes verge and accommodate to the same distance. In current generation near eye displays, virgin's cues are accurately reproduced, but the accommodation of the eyes is always fixed to the physical screen or its virtual image. This discrepancy creates visual discomfort and fatigue, eye strain, compromised visual clarity, and other undesirable effects. To overcome this limitation, researchers have proposed several potential solutions, such as gaze contingent displays, volumetric multiplane displays, and light field displays. Unfortunately, robust eye tracking in a small near eye display is challenging, the form factor of volumetric displays is not adequate for wearable displays, and current generation light field displays suffer from reduced image resolution. To understand the problem and our solution, let us consider a simplified model of depth perception. Ocular motor cues, such as vergence and accommodation, are usually driven by their respective visual cues. However, these responses are also cross-coupled. Rather than providing all of these cues in a natural manner, which is a daunting engineering task, the proposed near-eye displays create a point spread function that is independent of the user's accommodation state. We hypothesize that this condition results in disparity-driven accommodation and thus mitigates the vergence accommodation conflict. Optically, accommodation invariance can be achieved with focal sweep. For this purpose, a programmable liquid lens rapidly changes its focal length at a high speed. The resulting image formed on the retina of the user will be equally blurred for all accommodation distances. Presented images are pre-processed to invert this blur. Here's an example. A conventional image displays the same target image on the screen, whereas an accommodation invariant display shows a pre-processed image. As shown in these photographs captured from our prototype, when the viewer is not accommodated on the virtual image of a conventional display, the blur gradient drives the accommodation state towards that distance. This is similar to autofocus in cameras. The accommodation invariant displays produce an image that does not change throughout the accommodation range. Therefore, the PSF gradient with respect to the accommodation distance is constant. This fact is also illustrated for the point spread functions shown here. To assess the proposed technology, we built this stereoscopic display prototype. We use high resolution liquid crystal panels mounted on two arms, an optical relay system and beam splitters direct the visual signal to the eyes. Focus tunable lenses dynamically change the focus distance of the display within 1 60th of a second. A translation stage allows us to adjust the interpupillary distance for each user, and an autorefractor measures the accommodative response of a user to a presented visual stimulus. Here we see captured PSFs for the conventional and accommodation invariant display again. While the proposed PSFs are depth invariant, they are also slightly larger than the best setting of the conventional display. This reduces the perceived image resolution at that distance. To optimize resolution, we also introduce a variant of accommodation invariant displays that strobes the backlight of the LCD. Rather than making the PSF invariant at all distances, the strobed mode makes it invariant to two, three, or any number of depth planes. Thus, an optimal balance between image resolution and accommodation invariance is achieved. Here are photographs of an image shown with the conventional display mode. When we refocus the camera, the scene is only in focus for one specific distance and completely blurred out otherwise. The viewer must always accommodate at that distance to see a sharp image. The accommodation invariant display equalizes image resolution for all depths, but compromises quality. Using real-time image pre-processing, some of that quality can be restored. The two- and three-plane accommodation invariant modes optimize image quality for a sparse set of distances. Likely, a user would accommodate to these planes and not perceive the blurry images in between. We evaluate the proposed method with several different scenes and show high-resolution photographs of these in the paper and supplement. Using the autorefractor, we objectively assess how well a user's accommodation follows a displayed stimulus. For this purpose, we move a stereoscopically rendered target sinusoidally in depth, here shown in red. We record the response for 12 users. The average response, shown in blue, has a significantly higher gain in the accommodation invariant mode than the conventional mode. For reference, we also test a dynamic mode that serves as ground truth by adjusting the focal plane of the display to that of the rendered target. 
We see a similar trend with a second experiment, where we render a static stereo target at different depths for each of the display modes, rather than continuously moving it. Users tend to accommodate more closely to the target distance in the accommodation invariant modes than in the conventional mode. Interestingly, all accommodation invariant modes show a higher variance between users than the conventional or dynamic mode. With this work, we hope to stimulate new directions for computational optics design of next-generation near-eye displays.